static electricity It's just moving to the start What is going on everybody, I am back again, and in this video is going to be tips on how to improve your aim and accuracy, and you know how to aim better and all that, but if you do enjoy the video, make sure to like, and if you're new, subscribe, or if it helps you out in any way, but let's go ahead and get into it now. So probably the biggest tip, and one of the best things you could do to improve your aim and accuracy, is to make sure you have a good sensitivity for you. Like in this game, I was playing on 4 sensitivity. Actually, I put it down to 3. I don't. It's really low in this game, kind of. And in other Call of Duty's, for me at least, it was higher. But in this one, it's it's kind of low. I don't know why. But you have to make sure that you have a good sensitivity that fits you. Because you don't need a super high one. Because if you have it on like 10 or 15 or however high it goes, it's not going to probably, you're probably not going to be able to control that. And you're going to die a lot. The only thing you'll be able to do is turn around a little bit faster, but when you're trying to focus on like one person, you're definitely probably not going to be able to hit them. So it's kind of better to play on a low to medium sensitivity, but just make sure you have one that fits you and not some that your friends have or like you hear other people talk about. These next two tips kind of go together a little bit, and the first one is going to be like try to keep your crosshairs where you think the enemy's going to be. So like what I mean by that is don't walk in a room or walk around corners or whatever aiming at the floor. Cause then when you see somebody you're gonna have to you know pull your crosshairs up to get them so try to like keep your crosshairs like in like the middle of your screen I don't know if that makes any sense but like try to like have an aim where their chest is gonna be at or like their head or whatever and then make sure to pre-aim the corners and if you're pre-aiming the corners and you're aiming where around where the chest is gonna be it'll be a lot easier to be able to hit them because you know if you're crosshair is like off in space somewhere in the sky and you see people it's just it's not gonna work out and if you pre-aim corners you're gonna be able to get a probably an extra shot off quicker and you know your screen's not gonna bounce if you get hit from the flinch and it just helps you be like more prepared quicker if you're pre-aim the corners and you know your aim is just gonna be better cause you're you're expecting somebody to be around there so it just helps you out all the way around now another tip I have this might not work for everybody but it works for me at least and it's to have control freaks I only use one control freak and it's like the smaller one on my right analog stick and you know it's supposed to help you aim a little bit better and I never really believed that it would and I never used it and so like the thing like halfway or something through Black Ops 3 I end up using it and um, it's actually it helps me aim a lot better I don't know why it's kinda weird but um, I would definitely go buy them they're only like like I think like $15 or something they're not really too expensive and they definitely make a big difference for me they don't work for everybody though at first I didn't like them but you just have to get used to them and like I said I only use the one like smaller one on my right thumbstick because I don't like one on my left I don't think you really need it on the left one anyways because uh, I just want it to help me aim a little bit better I don't need it over there that's just me but I would recommend buying them if you can. another tip that might help you out is um if you like before you hop online and go into a public match if you go warm up on bots in a private match really fast I don't do this because my aim's pretty much always like really really good I'm not trying to sound cocky but you know I'm pretty good at the game and I don't think I need to warm up I just warm up you know as I play in public matches and I usually do good for the most part you know I have some pretty good stats and all that and it helps some people though to go warm up on bots before they you know actually get into a public match and I know I don't do it personally like I said but I know it that does help some people out, so you know if you want to go ahead and do that. The only time I warm up my aim is if I'm gonna go play UMGs. I'll go into a public match first because you know I want my aim obviously good for UMGs. But other than that, I don't do anything else. Another tip is you know it's gonna be kind of like your movement system, and you have like these little like thruster jump pack things. I don't know what they're called in this game. I don't know, but um, they can really affect your aim because you know you can wall run, you can double jump, you can slide, and it's hard for some people to aim while they're in the air so you know if and when people are on the walls or when you're wall running I mean so if you can't aim good when you're wall running and jumping and all that stuff don't do it I do it pretty good because you know I have a scuff controller and all that but if you can't then you know don't do it because it's just gonna mess you up and this is gonna be the last tip and it's gonna be the attachments on your gun like what I mean by that is if you have like a laser sight, like a grip, uh, a reflex sight, or like any sight or whatever, they can really affect your aim and it can make your accuracy go up, down, you know, it just really depends. You have to have the right attachment for you and does that's definitely a big part too. But that is going to go ahead and wrap up this video and if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, I said earlier, and hope you all have a good day and I'm out. Peace.